election news now this morning. Republican delegates are waking up with last night's speeches still ringing in their ears. Uh, taking center stage, Ann Romney, who wants to be first lady, she talked a lot about her life with her husband. Channel 4's Kent Justice joins us live from Palm Harbor. Kent, there is a big battle going on to win the women's vote. And Ann Romney, she hopes her message resonated with that part of the electorate. Yeah, she, uh, she certainly did that. She's the headline news this morning. Get to know him is the big headline. And a picture of her standing with Romney on stage last night. I'll tell you, we know that women are key to the presidential campaigns, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. We're also hearing this morning about the role women in Florida play in answering the critics. I can't tell you what will happen over the next four years, but I can only stand here tonight as a wife and a mother and a grandmother, an American, and make you this solemn commitment. This man will not fail. I've spent enough time with him to know that he has a deep abiding respect for women, especially his wife, Ann, which I like more than anything. Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi is on the campaign trail, and not for herself, but for the Republican Party and for Mitt Romney. She told Florida delegates and then told me that she's been surprised she has to talk so much about the women issue. The women care about the same issues that men care about. They care about the economy. They care about jobs. They care about building their businesses. They care about their husbands having jobs. They care about school choice for their children. Women voters' biggest concern is the economy. Women have been disproportionately disadvantaged um, over the last three and a half years, and frankly, maybe even longer than that. Jacksonville Susie Wiles is on the Rules Committee for the Republican National Committee, and she's a first-time delegate and says it's exciting for the GOP to have strong women in leadership and in rising up in Florida. Florida's role in the convention is amazing because, you know, Florida, we want Florida to be a red state again. If you feel that big government is getting in the way of America's prosperity, then we have the answer. And people like the lieutenant governor and the attorney general are perfect examples of the kind of leaders who have come up through the ranks and achieved the status um, and level of responsibility they have now. It's, it's great to see. And the attorney general you heard from there, she is one of the featured speakers tonight at the RNC. She told us yesterday that uh, she finally knew her time was going to be between 8.30 and 9. And she said she's not nervous because she's been practicing a lot and worked on that speech over and over and over again. I asked her if it was going to focus on women issues. She said she wasn't telling us anything that we would just have to watch on our own. Live in Palm Harbor, Kent Justice, Channel 4, the local station. You know, Kent, it seems that there's a concerted effort to get people to know the real, and I put that in quotes, Mitt Romney and Ann Romney. She talked about the family. She says, you know, we, we don't have a storybook marriage. We're a regular family. Do you think that the message resonated based on what you've heard from the delegates? So what you see at a convention like this is all of the people who are surrogates for the campaign, and Pam Bondi is one of those, they kind of speak the same message. They're trained to say some of the same things, and that's certainly what I heard from the Attorney General yesterday. She was saying, this is what I know about Mitt Romney, this is what I know about Ann Romney, this is what I know about their relationship and why, again, this supposed war on women coming from the Democrats is something that the Republicans really are focusing on trying to answer. The delegates here, those who have had contact with Mitt Romney, seem to speak of him glowingly, Bruce. By the way, his five sons have each done about 100 media interviews as well, trying to get the message out about their father. Kent Justice joining us live from outside the uh, Republican National Convention. Thanks so much. Did you see Mom